you doing today? It is a Monday Mortgage Update. I am Ken Parkin with Keller Williams. I have Laura Witt back with us from Mortgage Architects. Laura, how are you doing today? Good morning. Great, thanks. How are you? I am doing well. I'm doing well. Today, we're going to talk about something people don't really know uh, about or that it's available when they're thinking about purchasing a home that needs some improvements. So let's jump right into it. We're going to talk today about uh, the Mortgage Plus Improvements option, lending option. Uh, Talk to us about it and and tell us sort of what that exactly means. Yeah, I mean, Ken, how many times have you shown someone a property and they've said, oh, I love it, but, you know, the kitchen's not my style or the master bath needs a complete facelift. I feel like we're in a market of like Instagrammable properties, right? Everything's on Instagram. And I found a lot of people are still sitting on the sidelines waiting for that perfect home to come up. Right. So what would you say if I told you that you could complete a $40,000 kitchen renovation for as little as 2000 or 4000 depending on purchase price? Sign me up. How do we do this? <laughs> yeah, I think most people are still sitting on the sidelines because they think that they need the down payment and the $40,000 improvement, which isn't the case. So this is a Genworth and, and or CMHC um, insurer program which means that the purchase price plus improvements cannot exceed a million dollars. And um, essentially you can start making your improvements right after you, you take possession. Okay. Um, so I thought we could run through maybe uh, a numerical example, just to put some, some failing behind it. Let's do it. So for easy math sake, let's say that you find a home for $650,000, but it needs a $40,000 kitchen renovation in order to become your dream home. Okay. So what we do is we take that $40,000 renovation and we add it to the purchase price, which now becomes $690,000. So at $690,000, the minimum down payment required is $44,000, which is only $4,000 more than just buying a home for $650,000. The funds are dispersed after the renovation is complete. So kind of the breakdown of that is it would be great to work with someone like yourself that has an idea of maybe how much a kitchen renovation would cost, how much completing a basement might cost, how much completing, you know, maybe that master bath would be. Yeah. And ensuring in your offer, you write in the condition that you're going to have access to the home along with your contractor so that the contractor can give you a quote, detailed, you know, labor uh, materials cost to get you that $40,000 quote, which I would submit to the lender. The lender will take a look at the home. They'll send an appraiser out. They'll say, yep, the home is worth $650,000. We're behind you with that $40,000 kitchen renovation. It's approved. Now, it kind of sounds too good to be true. So um, I would say that the only catch is that you need to complete that $40,000 renovation out of your own funds. So what a lot of my clients do is they take advantage of that $0 interest uh, Home Depot credit card, they fund it through that. And then they simply just pay that credit card balance off um, after the renovations have been done. Right, right. And and there's quite a few ways that you could actually um, finance or fund that renovation. You could potentially have, uh, you know, a family member help pay for it. Um, could you get uh, Could you get some private financing to potentially pay for that and be able to pay that off quickly or could. no? Yeah, you could. That would become quite expensive. So typically the best route is the bank of mom and dad, unsecured right. line of credits, um, or maybe maybe actually using some of your credit cards uh, to make it happen. Right. And if it's only going to be a two or three month project, you're, we're not talking like a year long, you know, accumulation of interest or uh, or things like that. Yeah. So there are a few restrictions. Um As I said, the million dollar total purchase price is one of them. The other is that this purchase, the improvement value uh, isn't supposed to exceed $40,000 or 
depending on which insurer you choose, 10 or 20% of the original purchase price. Um, okay. without, without telling you which one, because I'm not here to promote one insurer over the other, I did have a Purchase Plus improvement approved this year on exception for a $126,000 renovation. Wow. Okay. And the reason that worked is because they're going to take a look at kind of the overall um, neighborhood demographic. So if, if you're buying a $650,000 home and the neighborhood average is 500000 and you want to put money into it, it's not going to appraise at the end of the day. But if you're buying a $650,000 home where the average price is seven fifty, dollars now there's a lot of room for improvement there. So as long as it makes sense. Um, and it still fits the overall neighborhood profile. Um, it, it's always worth it. You know, put condition of five days financing in your offer, send the quote over to me, and I'll see if we can get it done at one of the insurers. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, that's going to wrap up today's episode of the Monday Mortgage Update. Laura, thank you for joining us. And um, if you're thinking about making a purchase, you really need to talk to Laura first. We're going to put all of her contact details down below. You can find her on Facebook or Instagram, and you can email her directly as well. Uh, So thank you for joining us, Laura. My name is Ken. I am with Keller Williams. I'll put all my details down below as well. So if you have any real estate questions, we can have a chat. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Laura. Have a great day. Thanks. See you later.